and I love when when it says let there be light or or it says well not let there be light or and it was so and I was like man, man. when it says and it was so I look at that as when we create when we come together with one another and it's showing the masculine and the feminine coming together with with the Holy Spirit hovering over us, being an interpreter for us. We're coming together, creating. We have to create from a present tense standpoint, not a future tense. Mm-hmm. It was so, and it was so. Because the universe of the Holy Spirit, the universe, doesn't understand future tense. Oh. Here yeah. Right. Yeah. It only understands present tense. So if I tell you, if you say, if you tell me, uh, if you come to me and say, honey, can you, can you take out the trash? Mm-hmm. And I say, I'll get to it. <laughs> like, what does that mean? <laughs> It means you're not going to. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I may, I may. You know? yeah. But th- th- <laughs> does that does that mean in five minutes? Does that mean tomorrow? Like, what what does that e- like what does that even mean though? <laughs> and then you come back and say, "I thought you said," and I say, which is true. I said, "I said <laughs> I'll get to it." That is true, <laughs> but. If I say, if I say, uh, you say take out the tra- take out the trash, and I say instead of saying and it was so right, <laughs> you'd be like what? But I say, <laughs> I say, consider it done. Mm. Wow, wow, that's a different <laughs> feeling. Wow, <laughs> that, right? In, 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 in your mind, it's done. Right, it's done. You ain't got to come back and, and look. Like it's done. No, no exactly. You are right. Wow. Yeah, and that's how the universe takes in stuff. You know, so that's wh- the true. That's the true God energy right there. The the word. The, the the word is God. Yes. So so how we structure our words, man. I'm telling you, the first scenario, the first response was like, oh, he's not going to do it. The second response would be, oh, I don't even need to worry. And, you know, that's interesting. That makes me think of something. You know, the way we respond to each other, I think, is a huge, has a huge impact on how we build or or even take the stress off of each other. Yes. So if you think about the first scenario, then she's going to be wondering, well, did he do it yet? Look, no, he didn't. Did he do it yet? Yeah. And then the the second one, she's not even going to care. She's not even going to give it another thought. Yeah, and that's that, and that's gonna hurt her. That controlling aspect of women is gonna kick in, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, look now, now she's at work. She's at work thinking about it. Did he? Did he take out the trash? Did he do that? Her anxiety kicks in. Like we got to know how. You're right. Got to know how to communicate with one another, and so we can bring each other ease. Like you, you like to talk about, and not dis ease. Bring right. each other ease. Wow, that's huge. Yeah, and men got to understand that about women. You know, we we say you guys bicker a lot, complain, but we, if we really understand the psyche and how we're created, we'll cherish it more and don't mm-hmm. see it and not see it as a hindrance. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we'll, we'll have more tolerance yeah. and love and appreciation for the essence, the true essence of one another. Yeah. Wow, that is real interesting. Oh wow! Yeah, we get frustrated because we don't understand. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we just don't understand. Yeah, and all it is is a little twist on words. Again, use the Man. God energy in your words, not the what's the op- opposite energy of the God energy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, wow. Yeah, me just twisting that, saying consider it done, opposed to I'll get to it. Oh man, I gave you so much security. Man, I can't even tell you the difference <laughs> that, of the feeling that that makes me feel. Yeah, security. Uh, you're right. Yeah, that's like, what a I'm, woman wants. Have to worry because because you know I know what that's like. Oh, um, you know, you ask somebody, would you please, would you please do this? And uh, you know, okay, they'll say okay, and then nothing happens. 
and you know it needs to be done. So you're you're worrying because because you know you know if they're not going to do it, you have to come along and pick up the rest of that load on your own. You're going to have to do it. So you have to. It's not an issue of, um, oh, I'm going to control them to do it. No, it's not that. It's just that you know for the health of your environment. For I mean, if the trash gets let set for days and days and starts to smell and this and that, now that's yeah. infringing on your environment. Your yeah. nest. You have to yeah. remember a woman's home is her nest. And yeah. we have that nesting instinct all the time that that, that nest, you know, has to be clean and, and safe. That that's yeah. a, that's an instinct. I didn't realize yeah. that till some time ago that, you know, when, when a woman gets frustrated, let's say she'll she'll um, scold you for coming in with your shoes. Mm -hmm. That's a natural instinct. You watch. <laughs> we have cats. You watch the cats when the mama cat has babies. Right. And when a male cat comes in there, she'll just tear into him. Yeah. Yeah. She'll bite him and chase him out. Well, yeah. it's all about the nest. She's trying to keep that nest clean for the babies. And and that's literally the instinct that we as, as females have. We have an, an instinct to keep our nest a certain way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I agree. It's not anything. It's not any reflection on, on the man or anybody else, but it's just a natural instinct. And for us to, you know, a woman has to really suppress that to get out of you know, <laughs> to not be that way because it's it's so natural. She has to become unnatural to not care about her surroundings. Right. If you enjoyed this video and previous videos, go to www.angel2angelhelp.org and donate. That's www.angel2angelhelp.org and donate. We provide services for the homeless, the mentally ill, the elderly, and the youth.